Um, Jake, could I please ask you a question regarding the transportation? Sure. The, um, so when you get bills for the transportation yes. budget, for the transportation, for the athletics, do you find that it's for a couple months? Is it quarterly? How does it seem to come in? Uh, monthly. Comes in monthly. Okay. High school and bills are split. So there's two separate. So Pat, Pat Henry just asked about an $8,000 bill for the transportation. Is, is, is that normal? Yeah. And to be honest, we have one of the lowest per hour rates that I know from the strong community. So it's actually pretty cheap. So my question is, is it within our budget, though? I don't know. I don't, it doesn't matter to me if it's high or low. I just want to make sure we're spending within our budget for that month. Full transparency. Yeah. I asked for a transportation increase raise last year, and that was by the former administration or whatever term you want to put to it. So to be honest with you, to answer your question, probably not because I did ask this for a raise in the budget tonight. Uh, but I am trying to offset it by reducing it in other areas. And then my other question was 21,573 on athletic uniforms in one month. I'm asking, was that budgeted? Yes, that would be the uniforms that budgeted. Is that sufficient, Pat, at this time? Yeah. Perfect. Fine. Okay. So there's a motion and there's a second. Are there any other questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions. Okay. Approval of cell tower funds. Move to approve the cell tower yeah. funds in the amount of $7,087.50 for the Great East, Great East Music Festival as presented in the packet. Second. Does anybody have any questions regarding the cell tower? All the information was in our packets this evening. Um, I believe that they presented sufficient information regarding that. Mm -hmm. um, I did ask, I also asked for Renee to do a breakdown, Dr. Palazzo, about how much is in the cell tower funds, how much it yields a month, then yeah, we could do the calculation on um, yearly. <coughs> but it's, that was also in our packet, and I do think the policy subcommittee should look into maybe creating a policy to put a cap amount on what they can request yep. and not to exceed a certain amount because we don't want to <laughs> we don't want it to, 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 to vanish we don't want to give away more than we have in there more is going to yield right. so that way people know what to expect what they can ask for say not to exceed four thousand not to exceed whatever the committee feels is an appropriate number I, I would like that to come forward if that's okay if the okay. committee wishes so that would be almost like an amendment to a if you're looking for us to amend the cell tower uh, policy, cell yeah. tower fund policy, yes. I agree to do it. Yes, that's okay. perfect, Brendan. Thank you. So, Marianne, maybe that's something that we can add to our next one. So that should be pretty quick. Yeah. All right, so there was a motion and there was a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. Opposed? Abstentions. Motion carries. Madam Chair, I make a motion to approve the cell tower funds in the amount of 4500 for the baseball team to go to Cooperstown, New York to play a game at after something new, Double Day Field. In, it's not working. And visit the Baseball Hall of Fame as presented in the packet. Second. Any discussion? Full trip. Amazing opportunity. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions. Any questions for Dr. Superintendent's report. That's it. Good. <laughs> it worked. It worked. Hit it on your head again. <laughs> it's the metal plate. I'm going to make a motion for a new sound system. Yes. Yes. What's Do that. that. Superintendent's report, um, you have approval for uh, job sharing that has been in place for several years prior to my arrival as principal. Um, you have a resignation and uh, three leave of absences, one of which is uh, you've already approved, actually, um, Ms. Norton, I believe you approved that. That was a maternity leave. She had a baby in November. Um, and Ms. DiPaolo will return in April and then um, the one day leave of absence. Can we approve these as a whole? Do we have to separate them? I make a motion to approve the superintendent's report as presented as an entirety. Second. Yes. I think, don't you need a separate for the general? 
job share? Well, she's approving, she's approving the job share and she's approving the leave of absence and she's approving the resignation as part of her motion. Oh, All three, everything, yep, as the entirety, yes. So is there a second? Yep, thank you. Any discussion on that? Any questions? All right, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Okay, thank you. Budget update. So I think um, I asked uh, Diane Brennan to be here. As you know, she's working with the district and her, her primary role um, was really to help with the prep of the, of the budget. On January 30th, uh, the Regional Budget <laughs> Subcommittee approved the proposed budget. Um, it's important to mention that we strategically invested in curriculum, uh, instructional programs, equipment, facilities, and tech. Uh, we developed this with both our certified and non-certified uh, contracts being negotiated. We did maintain our current levels. And we didn't look to expand. Um, we did develop this based on our current conditions, and, uh, and I know that we had conversations at the subcommittee level, um, but I do think uh, Diane would like to add a little more information just to kind of give you the overall um, well-rounded perspective of where we came from and where we hope to go. So basically, um, yeah, have a Yes, definitely need a mic. Dave! Is it that one? Here yours, maybe yours. That one's dead. How is it possible that $1 million school system like this can't afford $500 in AV equipment? Seriously. It's got to be intentional. It, it can't be oh, this Oh, yes. Stupid. It is not intentional. I well, but, you know, this happens every meeting. It's the same. This happens at multiple school districts. Excuse you spend me, a few thousand dollars. Excuse me. This is not public comment time. I appreciate it. It never is. Whatever. Knock yourself out. Well, here, just to give you a little information as to the budget and just some uh, general uh, framework as to what we have. The budget actually for expenses has increased by 2.46%. Um, globally, you understand that there's a very variety source, a small variety of revenue sources in the revenue and state aid, which we've included based on what the governor has provided in his budget. Uh, and then our local contribution. That must be Dave. Thunder, right? It's not funny. <laughs> so the local contribution that we have it's for the past, you need to be quiet so we can hear her. I'll come to the middle and maybe I'll speak a little bit louder. Can you hear? Appreciate it. Thank you. You can let me know if that's a problem. Um, I don't think your mic is working. I don't either. It is. People you just got to hold it closer. Yeah. Like is that better? Yes. yes. Yeah. That's better. Um, the key component of the budget that is important for both the districts of Foster and Gloucester is that there's a, a under a 1% a contribution that's being asked from the two districts to fund the regional budget. Um, salaries have basically, there's four, four or five basic components as to what those expenditure categories are. We have salaries and benefits. Salaries and benefits have pretty much maintained or an overall increase, I believe it's three hundred and eighty-nine thousand dollars. I think you have some of that in your package. The largest change in that category is basically on benefits. We had a number of people who actually jumped into the benefit pool that had not been there in prior years. The salaries have been relatively level, level in the sense that we've had some people who have left some people of some lower steps that have come on, so we're taking advantage of those positions that have changed during the year that the budget was in place this year, so we're seeing that going forward. We also have some, uh, looks like a reduction in educational programs. It's really just restoring where we were in the prior year from 2022, we've ordered an amount. We had a lot of one-time expenses that we found in 2023. Those expenses did not maintain and go forward. We had some technology changes, we had some testing changes that were one-time expenses, so we resorted back to our prior levels of expenses. And I can tell you that the same thing happened in district-wide facility operations, but in the opposite effect. We had some categories, and specifically it was out of district transportation. 
that the level that had been in the prior year budget compared to what the actual expenses were in the prior year has been restored to what is a more reasonable idea for what those costs will be. One of the biggest things again will be what the, um, the budget and the state aid and just the, um, the local contribution. And we did try to maintain that that would um, not be a giant impact to the two towns. And I don't know if anybody had any specific questions. That's just a general overview as far as how expenses fell for the district. Yes, go ahead. Um, so my overall, it's sort of a, a two-part. One, do you know how much we have right now in fund balance? Because I see that we increased, um, instead of doing 100000 like we did last year, 150 this year. Do you know what our budget, well, not our budget, but what we have in fund balance? I don't have a full amount. I can't tell you that. I think that it's going to be that amount, the 150 that you saw is actually from the operation side. I do believe that that will be covered based on the results from the current year that we're in. I think we had some additional revenue that would come in that I would say I would use that and not think about the fund balance, okay. but I think that that would be in the current year. That was in anticipation of that result, which is the state aid. If you look at that state, that first line, it says state aid revenue, and we've made a comparison based on the 2023 budget amount compared to the 2024 budget amount. There's a large increase, and that increase is large because we're actually receiving more funds than the number that's printed in that budget document. So that is by, over by about $145,000, $149,000. So I'm looking at that to help with that fund balance contribution. Okay, perfect, thank you. Does anyone else have any additional questions? Yes, Brendan. I, did, I just had one regarding the uh, central office mm -hmm. operations. Mm -hmm. Well, basically, we have been talking about supporting our superintendent, the new administrative team, to make sure you have all the tools available that you need. I want to make sure. Questions? We had talked about adding uh, any support that you needed to maintain the administrative operations. And I just want to make sure that we're covering that expense here and that we're budgeting to support you as best you can as you need. I appreciate the question, the comment, um, and we prepared this in a way that I do think we would be okay. supporting moving forward. So thank you. Are there any additional questions regarding the budget for 23-24? I really give credit to Dr. Palazzo and the business office and Diane. Thank you so much for your hard work and your thoughtfulness that went into building this budget. You were conscientious for the taxpayers, and at the same time, you did good for the students. You did good by the students. So I appreciate that, and thank you. And all accounts, and I know it wasn't easy, so truly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'd like to make a motion to support the proposed budget as presented this evening. Second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Legal counsel. Chair, I make a motion to appoint legal counsel for the Foster Gloucester Regional School. Highness Carol Lombardi. As, as, as presented, Highness Carol and Lombardi. Second. So I ask this to be on the agenda as a yearly thing because I don't think a committee should ever be complacent. And I think the committee should have the opportunity to say if they're happy, unhappy, and so on and so forth. I have been very happy. Uh, Aaron, yes. Um, I have also been very happy, but I was just wondering why we didn't go up to bid because I thought, you know, just being the conscientious of the taxpayers, making sure that we are getting the best bang for our buck. I am very happy with Mary Ann, but I also think that maybe we should look at you know, obviously, if she decides to come in with another bid, which I certainly hope you do, I just think that in our best bet, because we agreed that we would go out to bid, if I recall No, we didn't say go out to bid. No, we said we'd revisit. Here's, here's the thing. With the, well, first of all, by law, um, school committees do not have to go out to bid for legal or for um, engineers or contractors. Right? Is it con uh, architects. Architects. Those are the two things school committees do not have to go out to bid for. Um, so we never said that we go out to bid. We just said we would review it yearly. And here's why. We left it unreviewed for like 12 years or right. six years or I don't know however many it was. Didn't even have a discussion on the, on the legal counsel that was in here. We had, it was just, there was no discussion. It was just a continuing rolling thing. 
And if you look at our expenses for legal, they're significantly lower, despite the fact that we are in legal battles this year. Right. And they're significantly lower, so um, I actually have the cost analysis compared to other years, and it's significantly lower. So, I mean, I'm just going by, and, her, and the hourly wage was not changing. It was staying $200 an hour, which is $50 an hour less than my- Because I just didn't see the bid or what we well, did the, last year. Well, because the contract year. hasn't changed. It's still $200. Okay, so I well, kind of I was just curious, because we didn't have anything like that in our packet, so I yep. wasn't able to see what- Sorry, it was still- So I just wanted to make sure on that. So $200 an hour, and then that was not changing. Okay. And then school committee, the, the meetings are prorated. Or okay. I just wanted to make no, sure. No, absolutely. No, those are important questions to ask. That's exactly why we had it put on. So the committee shows. So the committee, does anyone else have questions regarding this? So, so the, only, the only thing I would add to that is that I, I certainly, I don't think I would be in favor of going out to bid for legal every year. I think there's a lot of value and consistency with particularly legal counsel to make sure that we have the, that, that continuity across cases and just that same mind that's serving us. What I would say is that there might be value in just double checking rates. I think 200 an hour seems very reasonable, but just maybe on a periodic basis, whatever that may be, every three years, every four years, or as we do this annual review, decide whether or not we go out for an RFP if there's some sort of dissatisfaction Absolutely. with the service we're getting. Just to double check to make sure that the rates that we're getting and the service that we're getting is aligned with the statewide norm. Absolutely, Brendan, thank but you. I, I don't like the idea of going out to bid every year. Just, I, I think, unless there's a problem. I agree. Yeah, so the industry standard is three years. So if we, even if we review every year, we do a bid every three years, I think that's fair. So everyone to hear, Mark said. I said, um, <laughs> the, indus the industry standard three years for an RFP. So I think it's fair that we have this conversation annually, but we bid it out every three years. I agree. Does anyone else have any additional questions? Um, I did ask Dr. Plaza in case anyone had questions, and I am going to, um, I printed it out. Um, last year, in 2021, our budget for legal was 40,000. Actual was 256,000. Our budget for 22, was 75,000. Our actual was 229,000. Our budget for 23, which is kind of ironic, it went lower, considering that they still didn't stay within the budget the previous two years, was 60,000, and so far we're at 56,000, despite the fact that we are we, we, we're very well aware we have a couple of legal situations going on. So I can very comfortably say that I am pleased we're with it. Right we're on the right track. Okay. Does anyone have anything else to add? All right, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Thank you very much. Sorry, Miriam. Technology update, approval of E-rate internet access. Move to approve the bid that the technology department submitted requesting for internet access to the region for school years 24, 25, and 26 in the amount of $13,500 yearly from vendor Ocean, Inc. as presented in the packet. Second. Is there any questions or discussion regarding this item? Uh, I would just like to ask, because I actually contacted Dave about this earlier today. Um, oh, sorry. I was loud enough, apparently not. Can everyone hear me now? Perfect. So I actually contacted Dave earlier today about this, just making sure, because I saw that we had three other, you know, bids or whatever like that through it, and I actually, and I agree that motion is the best bet and the best bang for our buck, basically, so I would act urge the committee to approve this, um, especially with all the security that we're getting with them and everything else, and I wholeheartedly support Dave in terms of that this is the best thing for us to continue with this company. Is there any, anything else anyone would like to add? Any further discussion? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Capital projects update. Brendan or Steve, who's doing the update? So the um, new greenhouse, we finally got our certificate of biography, so that's... Come, up, come this way. Space. Mike. Steve. No, I said uh, Mike. Mike. Mike, I think Mike. I <laughs> know his name is Steve. I know it's Steve. Steve. I'm, I'm loud enough. Um, so we got our certificate of biography. I thought I was too, but apparently not. 
We got our CFO for the new greenhouse so we can fully utilize that new class space. Other capital projects, no substantial updates.
Or maybe we could ask both of these companies if they could provide us with any references. Yeah, I mean, we reached out, I reached out to multiple vendors. We put ads in the Valley Breeze, in the Bargain Buyer, in the Pawtucket Times, uh, we, I think four or five different. And because we started this and we had nothing in place in September, all reputable snow removal contractors busy. are busy. busy and they're right, the work scale was full. So because we started this so late in the game, we ended up with two responses. And there we are. So there's really two situations that we're dealing with that we talked about in the capital project slash facilities committee. The first is the emergency situation, which is now, right? We have very few, very we have very few options at our disposal in the moment because of the timeline and because of the demands that are already in place. So I think that's what Steve is working to address here, which is to get these vendors in place for a larger snow event that we, we need some, we just can't handle it internally or we, we reasonably can't get to it. And the second part, I think, is what you're speaking to is how we'll handle it long term. And I think for that, we do reach out to some of these neighboring districts like a Boroughville, a Situate, see what they do, you know, what it costs, like, hey, you have roughly the same number of buildings. Do you do it internally? Does the town do it? How do we do, how do we manage it? But right now, we just have to handle it. This, um, and I mean, I looked at the two. It seemed like there was a big difference between the sanding and salting too. Um, one of them included it for it seemed like for everything, and one didn't. On the on both contracts, if they did include the sanding, we can basically exclude that one portion of the contract because I do have agreements with the town to sand our parking lot. The only problem with that is, is we're susceptible to whenever they can basically get here because their number one priority are the city and the town streets. So when they conveniently are going down and wave, they'll pull into our parking lot. But you know, previously this past storm for instance, that it was a late night wet storm, everything froze over. I was on the phone with Gary Tremble from the DPW at 5.30 in the morning. Unfortunately, we didn't see a a sand truck until about 10 after 7, which at that point we already have custodian staff, everybody on site, and I had a custodian out trying to 850 pounds of hand salt. I mean, it's just we're going about things the wrong way. It's like 20. And we are, I, I want to reiterate, we are late and we started this process in October and no one was available because they, they already have their contract. So we are well aware to start, and we spoke about this capital projects, to look at this over the summer, to draft the RFP, to get a contract moving forward. We have been fortunate, but in the event that we get a storm next week, it is more than our facilities can handle. And also, I think it is fair to say that if the, if the road's not safe, the, 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 no one's coming to school anyway. So if they do us last when they swoop around, they're or they're doing Anna Wade Road and they're swooping in and doing the school. Yeah, but because, so yeah. this particular storm happened that night. I plowed it, but yep. because it was a very wet snow, it freezes that overnight. Temperature drops. The trucks were done with the roads hours before I was done with the parking lots. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. it appears evident that we need to make a decision yeah, quickly yep. and award it to somebody. Yeah. Do you have any preference? I mean, whatever the, you, whatever the school, the school committee then. decides on this. Okay. So the, the big thing is the insurance, and that's hard. So, Marianne, how do you feel about the insurance? One had the $2 million insurance, the umbrella policy. They had, it was the over and above. What? I don't know what the other one has. I, I provided it in the packet. Can I, can I just make a, 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 a statement as well, Steve, when you did? Um, consult with the one who does not currently have the full insurance. They did say they did. that yep. if we sign on with them, they would they would have the full insurance. They, they did say upon hire, they would up their insurance. Oh, I see. Thank you. Yeah. So, so the insurance issue should be moved, right? Yeah. Easy decision. Now. I mean, I think. I think we should, I like, I think we should move forward with Solitro. One, the snow season's almost over, and in light of the fact that we're gonna be going out to RFP this summer, I mean, I think that just makes sense. Um, and also, I think uh, the other company definitely overshot their bid. I think, I think it's a little unrealistic. Did you make and, a motion, Mark? Oh, one, one thing. Okay, I'm sorry, Mark. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, one, the only thing I, had, I was concerned about with Solitro's proposal, was if it snows three inches, what do we pay? Above three or? Because it says 
how, how it should be is one to three and then four to six. Because if it snows three inches, are we paying two thousand or are we paying four thousand? No, it does say one to three. So, so, it's, so I'm, what right? No, I'm yeah, saying if it snows oh. three inches, do we pay two thousand or do we pay four thousand? Well, usually it's like the one when it, when if it goes like three to four, you would yeah. So. Yeah, I know, but it's a con. It's yeah, so if it's three inches, it's three inches. So then I would just, as a school department, we would say, sorry, don't you just know three inches. You, you, you'll get the 3,100. Well, all I'm saying is you should say, this says three inches also. So it's three inches. It should inches. say one to three and then four to six. Right. That's what I'm saying. But yeah. I, I think yeah. other, yeah. other no, than that. No, but then what happens in three and a half? This is written right. right? Yeah, that's, I read it the same way as you do. No, yeah. it's this, I, one to three, three to six. Yeah, because if it's three and a half, you've got to go into the next line of three to six. Okay. Yes, all right. But, um. And I, I don't think the insurance is industry. I mean, he has insurance, and it uh, may not be two million, but I think it's fine. It's a million dollars, so, right? Is that what it says, a million? Well, it's a million with an over a million. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. The snow season's almost over. I think we should move forward, so we drill. Okay. I make a motion. Mark, Mark, I make a motion. I make a motion to move forward, so we drill. Property solutions. Second. Mark. Two quick questions on that is how do they measure that? <laughs> I, I just, it seems vague, and it, it was something that I looked at, like, is that like just the National right. Weather Service? They go, uh, so right. usually they go by the news. Because I'm the plot, but I have part of the deepest spot in the lot, you know, right. oh, look, it's six feet. I don't think spot. they you know? measure. I don't think it's they reported. measure, it. yeah. it's yeah. reported. They okay, go by so reported measurements. Re okay, yeah. just one yeah. of those things, I'm sure there was an answer, but it seemed a little vague, maybe we just locked that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They go by reported. Right. Thank you. And the, the second one was just that sand and salt piece. I know we talked about the sidewalks, but the one bit did include it, it seemed like, for the pavement, too. Um, this one did not, well, it's an extra, I believe, that they have in here. So we should just clarify how that gets right, done. They're both a line item. Um, I just, you know, I told them to put them on there if we chose to go that route, if we chose to add them in. I have one other question or a comment. So are we clear to give Steve? Correct. Is it? I'm new. Um, are we being clear to Steve about if we go with Solitro, how much he's going to ask them to add on as insurance? Are we giving him the right guidance on does he know what to do with that? Because he says there's no guidance on that. Well, no. You have you have insurance. Accept the policy as it is. Okay. I mean, their proposal as is. All right. Okay. Great. Yeah, right? He has insurance. I wasn't clear on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so long as the committee is okay with that. He just wants it off his hands and on us. If God forbid something happened, we're on record saying we understand the the um, insurance. It's required. It's still carrying insurance. It's saying here that they'll match it. That's right? what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah, you, need, you need to clarify that, that be, part. That should be a part of the motion. Well, I think, but also we should confer about legal. So legal saying that that's not required. That's know, my. We're, that's why many of us are voting for them with with, them with the understanding it. that. It's matched. So right. what is the insurance? So it's matched. So what is the insurance? The insurance is the five million dollar insurance policy, which so I'm going to tell you as a business owner is unrealistic. That's way too high. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So can it's we do not this? Can we? Can can? No. No what? I was going to say, can we seek legal advice with respect to the the insurance, or you're not going to? I'm not going to give you advice in respect to the insurance. I was asked to call the trust to find out whether it was. Why if they have a one million, two million, or it was a recommend? Uh, oh, two million. I was told it was it was recommended. Okay. They have, don't they have one million, two million? Yes. One. They have one million. Two one million, two million. I believe they're umbrella. missing the umbrella, umbrella policy side of things. Umbrella. I, mean, I, I think it's incumbent upon us to hold to what the trust is recommending, and it seems like they're willing to do that for this price. Just make sure that it's locked in. That they'll, they'll do that. Okay. The, I just have one other question too. Are we intending to do any of these services in house now too, or are we just calling them? If we like are still 100% responsible for all of our 36 entry entryways, sidewalks. Okay. But if there's an inch of snow, they're doing an inch of snow, or are we still doing? Uh, it's broken down. It's, they're doing it. So they're doing it all. Yeah. Like I think I think it says one forward. inch and over. Yeah. I meant more that we're. The district not doing with our own vehicles and own staff. You, you, did, you did it. You did it. I have been doing it. And up you until have right to. now. Right. right. But we're taking that off your plate entirely. I hope so. Okay. Unless I <laughs> unless I get an assistant. Okay. So that's important for the this group to know too that it's not just for the one foot events. This is for 
mean, I think that's. Oh no, I think that's. I think that's why the bid's on there for the mm -hmm. point nine. Yes. And it's temporary. It's it's only for the rest, remainder of the season, and we're going to be going out to bid for an actual mm -hmm. full-time snowplow vendor this year in the summer. We just need something in place now, and I think it's logical to go with a vendor that's not charging us two times the cost. In case it does snow. Or maybe have the insurance, but I mean, it's not they don't have no insurance. Yeah. Uh, You're going to get so much snow. I know, Mark. You're going to be guaranteed so much snow. So, Catherine. So, for clarification, does the motion include asking Salim for the increase in insurance? I think it just, I think the motion was to clarify that they had the one million, two million umbrella, right? Is that what the trust? Recommends is that what the trust recommends? See, it's five million right here. That's what I was trying to tell you. That's what see the trust is required is, is saying five million, which is an unrealistic. I'm a business owner and I'm telling you that five million dollars is an unrealistic insurance amount. Unrealistic. I have horses, and I mean, I'm just telling you it's unrealistic. Two million dollars is realistic, and that's what they have. $5 million is because they, they're our insurance. They are going to tell you to have as much as possible because they don't want anything coming back on them ever. Everything. Yes. Can I clarify something? So the email that came from the trust, from a Brad Weaver at the trust on October 25th um, to um, James P.J. said, the recommended liability limits for a snowplow contractor are listed below. General liability, one million per occurrence, with an aggregate of two million. Nowhere does it say five million. Further down, it does say commercial, five million. Commercial, commercial umbrella or excess liability the umbrella, policy. but that's yeah. not there. Insurance. So we have everything but the umbrella. Yes. Essentially. So was the, that's how they were interpreting the five million dollar, which is ridiculous. So do you, in your opinion, do you think we're doing what they said? If they have the million dollars recommended with the two million dollars. Again, it's not a requirement; it's a recommendation. As long as the business is insured by the state and licensed by the state, that's what. Has this company done business with the I with Pro, with Pond Gas before? Salitro. Yes. I know yes. they have done business with Foster. And they built the greenhouse. Office. They took down and built the greenhouse in the back. I'm so they've aware, done business here in the past. That's what I'm trying to say. They've done business here before. The glass, remember the, the greenhouse that we had to be taken down and, and put back up again? The, the, that was Salitra property. So they have done business here before. We have, we have references. It's unfortunate that, you know, but they, and they did. Sure, we have a first and a so that's yeah, all. First I wanted the committee to know they have done business here before. Yeah. So is the first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions. I recuse myself. <coughs> so, Catherine, I need papers. So they're not. Okay. All right. Approval of. I don't know my my agenda thing is. Move to approve the resolution in support of full funding of categorical transportation aid as presented in the package. That was a resolution that was sent to us. Did everybody read that? Yes. yes. Second? Does anyone have any questions? No, I think it's a great idea. We've done this how many times? Hopefully the, uh, the General Assembly has taken a hint. So all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Public comment. And public knows that at any point they can speak during an agenda item. But public comment, is there any? Nothing tonight. All right. Thank you for coming and participating. We truly appreciate it. Oh, you, are you changing your mind? Yeah, well, just, like, go just the insurance part. Just we have a thought. Here you go. I'll sign. Okay. She just had a thought when you were saying that the the company would match the insurance. Does that affect the bid price? If they decide, if you decided to go with them and they tell you that they will match insurance to whatever you want them to, to do, does that affect the price? No. Okay. Because <laughs> it said in the bid would if they win, they'll if, get if the needed to, yes, if okay. necessary. Anything else in the public comment? Oh yes, I changed my mind. You can't change your mind now. All right, one second. We, we were going to go back to the microphone and the oh, sound system. Um, technology. Oh, yes. technology. Can you just sign?
Technology update. I'm going, as chair, I'm going to go back to the technology update and technology in general. And I would like to bring forward some better microphone suggestions or I like the clip on idea, Wait, Cindy. You know, um, we could get the like, earpiece like technology. And move back to technology. Is this the time to come? Is this we're on we're in technology now. I move back to technology, yeah. so sure. So you know, at the council in Gloucester, two people in Gloucester we used to have with, at council these little kind of high tech little things that came out. Yeah. And two people could speak into it, so if we had one for every desk. Um, and then it's just seamless. And then we should have a a podium with a microphone for the public to come up to to speak to. Those are my suggestions. Perfect, Pat. Thank you. Yes, Lori. Everything Pat just said. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, oh, yeah. All right, you're already signed in. You have to sign in, sir, and then you'd be happy to let you, happy to let you see. Yes, you already signed in. Thank you. I addressed it last time at the last meeting regarding the middle school and the Little League sharing the leisure field and the um, portable bathroom situation. I wasn't sure if I can respond. Yeah. Can I respond? What? No, we can't respond. Oh. Oh, okay. So it's just not an agenda item. Can okay. you write your email address down? Is you told me. Yeah, because we spoke. Yeah, but I didn't hear back on what the resolution would be. So there. But it was just about the portage on, right? Didn't we we clarify that with the portage on? I think you need to um, speak again. Okay, sorry. It's not on the agenda. Okay. Okay. Just bringing it up. Again. Yeah, I'll hold you to Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, you're already on there. You're already yeah, signed. Yeah, no, you're already signed. Oh, got it. Yes. the entire state as far as I'm aware and I'm going to review this in the coming weeks uh, you are only one of three school districts I know that do not provide fundamental reporting video reporting of your school board meetings uh, that's a terrible idea it's absolutely terrible um, there are a lot of folks who work who are concerned about their school districts about a thousand dollars worth of equipment fixed event so that we can have sound quality Put clip-on mics. You're probably spending about two or three thousand dollars. What you will do is you will foster information about the school district to the entire community. Uh, you will eliminate rumors and feigned and invented controversies. And you will also people behave differently when they're on camera. I've seen it at school boards actually across New England. So please don't be don't be the last one because it's it's not right. It's undemocratic. It's not transparent and virtually goes against everything you stand for. And the irony is, this is one of, and I'm not trying to patronize people, this is one of the better run school meetings that I go to. So just share it with people, that's all. Everybody will be happier, thank Excuse you. Excuse me, sir, could you identify yourself? Oh, sure, uh, I'll tell you, my name is Pat Ford. Um, I do this for a living, believe it or not, I cover politics, uh, Coalition Radio Network. Uh, my offices are at 10 Admiral Street in Providence. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, appreciate your input. All right. Um, now communications. Um, yeah. Communications, anyone? Would you like to communicate with us? I, I would. So I would like to add something to the next. Is this the time to do it? To Future agenda it? items? Yes. Nope, next oh, item. We're sorry. communicating now. Okay. Anything that we've heard from the community, anything anybody would? Oh. <laughs> future agenda items. Pat, would you like to add a future agenda item? I would. I have two. I need a microphone. Catherine, if you don't mind passing that down, please. So one agenda item I would like us to discuss is some future di uh, discussion uh, regarding trying to add language into the middle school for the next budget process. So it's either what, the 24, 25, or is it the 20, yeah, 24, 25 budget. So as a school committee, we would consider starting looking at at what point in time we could start thinking about adding a language to the middle school curriculum. And the second thing I would like to add on the agenda 
is just the way we identify or speak about students, kids, children. That's all. How would you Wait, like say that? that again? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. How do you want? Okay. All right. So you might have to it speak be, to. It would be about how school committee members, the proper language when we talk about students. Talking about pronouns? What uh, no. Okay. I, I, otherwise, I'm going to get into it. But just okay. Okay. Uh, so you, Kim, I was going to say, so Kim Soares and Renee might reach out to you on how to word it properly on the agenda. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Because right. I don't know. It's just semantics. I don't that I think <laughs> what I'm speaking about is sem semantics and the way we um, are viewed by the public, the way we use semantics. That's the only way I can say it without getting into it. Anything else for future agenda items? Nothing? Okay. I will put on the agenda for discussion for the, for the committee recording of school committee meetings. For discussion to have. Is it recording, the, recording or recording and broadcast or just recording? Recording for now. Let's just baby steps and the committee can decide what they choose to do. All right. All right, I make a motion to vote to convene to executive session. To and, um, and or vote on the following items are Island General Laws voting 2 46 5, homeschool, job performance of an individual. Please note everyone was just, um, notified prior to the meeting. And Island General Laws pending litigation 42 46 5, 2, bride complaint, attorney general response, and Title IX investigation. And? Oh, school safety. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions. Motion carries. Thank you. Oh, I'm like, why is Donna here tonight? Thank you, everybody, for coming. She, she just wanted to hang out. Yes. What? Do you want to drop?